And what new statues and monuments would you like to see in St Peterport? The public take over public art in Guernsey. But before that, what would make Guernsey a better or prettier place to live? That's the question the island's arts commission is asking the public. It wants to hear what role people think art could play to improve areas of St Peter Port. And a new exhibition is hoping to kickstart the debate with examples from around the world. Mike Wilkins went to have a look. From Victor Hugo's statue to the Liberation Monument in Prince Albert, Guernsey already has its own public arts. But there are some who feel the island could be doing more to improve the atmosphere of certain parts of St Peter Port. Could we do better? Could, could we do more? Could we do, you know, could we put some innovative um, seating there? Or could we put a large outdoor chess set? Or could we put, you know, somewhere for people to park their bikes? You know, I mean, there, there could be practical. Could we light it? Could we, you know, get it so that actually people stop there a little bit? This exhibition is asking the public what it thinks would make public areas more interesting. Some of these may never see the light of day, but that's not the point at this stage. It's to get our imagination going. So what do these people suggest today? The water fountains that you can run through, you know, the ones that are really all flat and they'll spout up and the kids just adore it. I know they've got one in Jersey and they absolutely loved it. Going exploring. Uh, or somewhere to, to where you can go exploring, so a bit of an adventure trail or something like that. Yeah. Go to the playground. A playground? I want to see horses. It follows the success of a project in Denmark where rundown parts of Copenhagen were rejuvenated by public art. So it seemed very successful, it was always very busy whenever I passed it. I passed it almost every day actually and then obviously I went around it several other times. So don't worry if you know nothing about art, it's your ideas that count and you've got two months to put your post-it note on this wall of inspiration. Mike Wilkins, BBC Channel Islands News, Guernsey. Well, I'm not sure if a ski slope is a work of art, but if that's what the people want. Uh, and what the people generally want in half term, David, is nice weather to get out and about. Is there any more of that coming?